Have you ever wondered why people would buy an Instant Pot and then just let it sit in the box or on the shelf for literally years? Well, guess what? I did the dirty work, I asked around, I found out, and I'm gonna tell you all the reasons why. What is up, you guys? It's Carly here, and you are officially cooking with Carly, and today we are cooking up all of the juicy secrets as to why people don't actually use their Instant Pot. Reason number one is that people are actually scared of them, and I find that they're scared of them for a couple of different reasons. First, it's just a new way of cooking. It's a new gadget. You read the instruction manual, and it's a different language and you have no idea what you're doing, where to go for help. So that's a little scary. When you release the pressure, a lot of steam will come out of the top and that tends to scare people. I will be the first to admit that I was a little scared the first time I did it. It's really no big deal, but it really did make my heart pound a little bit. Another reason that people are a little bit scared of it, they're actually scared of undercooking their food because they're used to you know, cooking on the stove top or in their oven and they are used to those cook times and everything's different with the Instant Pot. And so they're scared that they're going to open up that lid. And by the way, you can't open up the lid to check on things while they're cooking. You gotta set it and you don't touch it until it's done. And you open up the lid and your meat isn't cooked all the way through. And then what? That's what people are thinking here. Reason number two is that people feel like they can't find recipes for the Instant Pot. Again, going back to that user manual, there are some recipes in there, but I would personally recommend not following any of them. They're not family-friendly recipes generally in there. There's a misunderstanding that you're going to get this Instant Pot and you're going to be able to take your cookbooks that you've been given from your grandma with all of the casseroles and all the things that you've been making for your family for dinner for years and years and years and be able to stick it in here exactly as is and just cook it a lot faster. And once people find that out, then they think, okay, where am I even supposed to find the recipes that I like only with instructions for the Instant Pot? If you need any help finding Instant Pot recipes, you can always visit my website, cookingwithcarly.com, and you will find many fantastic recipes there. Reason number three is that the Instant Pot kind of has a unique lingo. There are a ton of acronyms that people use when they write recipes. You get your Instant Pot, you're re really excited to use it, and you go online, you find a recipe, and you've got NPR this, and. PIP that and QR and nothing is making sense. And so it's almost like you need your own dictionary or something, especially for the Instant Pot, just to understand the recipes until you get a hang of this. But guess what? Great news for you. I've got an excellent page on my website that gives you all the details for everything you need to know with this crazy little mumbo jumbo lingo we have with the Instant Pot. And guess what? I even have a printable for you so you can print it out and you will never forget it. If you haven't already, make sure you smash that like button and place your finger on the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. <laughs> what was that? The bell. And make sure to comment down below and let me know, do you have an Instant Pot? Do you use it or not? Let me know why. Reason number four is that people feel like it didn't live up to the hype that they were promised before they bought it. They feel this way for a couple of reasons. Number one, a lot of people just gave it one go and then gave up and threw in the towel. They didn't really give themselves time to learn how this thing works. You have to give yourself a little bit of time to learn how this thing works in order to be successful at it. Another reason why people feel like it didn't live up to the hype is because they feel like every single recipe made in here ends up like a casserole mushy mess. I will admit some recipes look like it is everything stirred together. But I promise you, not every single recipe is that way. And the other reason people feel like it didn't live up to the hype is because it didn't actually save them that much time. They feel like, I could have made this on the stovetop just as fast as I made it in the Instant Pot. While that sometimes is true, I can do a lot of stuff while my Instant Pot is doing its thing. I don't have to stand by the stovetop stirring and tending to a pot on the, on the stovetop for 20 minutes straight. I can be reading, doing homework, cleaning up, doing dishes, I can be doing a lot of things while this is going. Reason number five 
is that there is something called a water test suggested from the Instant Pot manual straight out of the box. And like I said earlier, that Instant Pot manual is not very helpful. It's kind of confusing. It seems the water test is not a hard thing by any means. You're literally making boiled water. But the way the manual suggests you do it or the instructions are not very clear and it's confusing to people. A lot of people will read through that and just be like, this is not for me and just box it back up and put it on the shelf. Number six is that people say they, ha they have the crock pot mentality, meaning they want to plan out for dinner a week in advance. They know what they're going to be eating for dinner the next day before they go to bed. So they wake up and they just throw and dump all of those ingredients into the crock pot. They set it, forget it, come home to dinner hours later. While this is a valid reason to not be using your instant pot to some degree. I think a lot of recipes can be made in the instant pot with that same crock pot mentality. For example, my French dip recipe, I used to make that in my crock pot all the time. I would put it in there before I went to church in the morning and eight, 10, 11 hours later, it would shred like a dream. And now guess what I do? I put a frozen roast in my instant pot and literally two and a half hours later, it shreds beautifully. So I don't have to think about dinner when I wake up and eat breakfast in the morning. I get to think about dinner in the afternoon when I'm actually starting to get hungry. And reason number seven happens to be my absolute favorite reason of them all. And I feel like this is probably the most valid reason to not use your Instant Pot. I actually asked on my Facebook page why people don't use their Instant Pot and one person commented and said that they don't use their Instant Pot that often because they actually have time and thoroughly enjoy making meals from scratch on their stovetop in their oven doing everything from scratch. And I say that reason gets a little round of applause. What do you think? Do you think these are valid reasons to not use your Instant Pot? Or are you one of the people who are not using your Instant Pot and why don't you use it? I really would like to know. Let me know below.